Today we're going to talk about literal, inferential, and critical comprehensive reading. So first off, let's talk about what reading comprehension is. It's simply understanding what is being said or read. When we talk, though, about literal, inferential, and critical reading, though, we're talking about three different levels or layers of reading, each one getting a little bit more complex. So let's start with literal comprehension. Literal is simply what the text says. So when we think back to those close reading strategies, when we read a text three times, the first time we read a text, we're looking for what it says. The second time we read a text is how it says it. And the third time we read a text is what it means. So those three times that we read a text, we also increase our comprehension. So in a literal comprehension, we're just looking at what the author is saying. It's the form of recognizing and recalling facts, identifying what the main idea was, what supporting details there are, putting things into categories, outlining, summarizing. So just getting the gist of it, what it says. You locate information and you also use context clues to start to supply meaning. So during literal comprehension, these are some questions that you can be asking yourself. What words state the main idea of the story? How does the author summarize what he or she is saying? What happened first, then second, then last? How are things alike and how are they different? And what things belong together? So if we think about our second time we read a text, that's how it says it. That's when we start the inferential level of critical read of reading comprehension. When we are doing the inferential level, we are inferring things. We are reading between the lines about things that are not directly stated. Um, this includes anytime we're looking at interpretation of figurative language, when we draw conclusions, we predict outcomes, we determine mood, and we judge the author's point of view. Those are all going to be within that inferential or how it says it stage. So here are some questions that are usually asked during inferential reading. What does the author value? What is the theme? What effect does the character or event have on the story? And how do you think the story will end? So first step, literal. Second step, inferential. And each time your reading is getting more and more complex. So the third level is critical reading, and that is what it means. That third time that you've read a text, now you can really start to critically evaluate it. So this is where you are looking at why the author says what he or she says. It requires you to use things that you already know from your own experience to make evaluations about the quality of the writing, values the writer has, um, the author's reasoning, any simplifications or generalizations you can make. It's also reacting emotionally and intellectually with the material. So this is where you really get into that highest level of comprehension, the highest level of thinking. We are really evaluating what a text means. So things to ask yourself, could this really happen? Is the argument logical and focused? Is there evidence being presented? Um, are there any alternatives to what's being offered? Is this a fact? Is an opinion? And why? Do you agree or disagree with the author? And what is the best solution for a problem? So every time you've read the text, you become more and more critical of what is going on. You are looking at what it means. Why is it important to know that there are different levels of comprehension? Well, first off, it's going to make you a skilled and much stronger reader. So you can identify, all right, so that was literal. I just got what it says. Inferential, I'm starting to read between the lines a little bit more. And then when I get to critical, I can really evaluate that text because I have a, completer, a more complete understanding of it. Um, it's a skill that you have to learn and then develop. It doesn't just happen automatically. But the more and more you read and the more you apply these strategies, the better reader you're going to become. Now, 
In the lasting realm, it also is going to make you a better writer because the more you're exposed to language, your vocabulary expands, your knowledge of grammar expands. And when that's combined with these kinds of reading experiences where you go from literal to inferential to critical, it becomes you become a much better writer who is able to express him or herself much better. So reading and writing are so tied together. Now, if we apply this to our school-wide Spartans annotate, remember that summarize, predict, ask questions, reflect and react, target text st structure, analyze author's purpose and note connections, um, we're gonna look at each level. So in summarize, summarize, that's just what it says, okay? That's your literal level of thinking again. Predicting, that's where you start to get more into the text. You're starting to make some connections. That's just inferential. So you're at the second level of reading comprehension. When you ask questions, though, that is inferential, and it can also be critical because when you're starting to evaluate the text and you're starting to put more thought into what's going on, that can become a critical evaluation of it. When you reflect and react, that is critical reading. You really have a grasp of the text and you're able to not only react it, to you know how you're feeling towards it but also reflect on what the author's saying and your thoughts about what he is saying targeting text structure inferential because you have to be able to not only identify the text structure but know how that impacts the overall meaning of the text you analyze author's purpose also inferential because you're getting an understanding of why this person wrote the text and when you note connections when you can connect what has happened in that text to your own life and explain how, that is that critical level of comprehension. So just to recap, comprehension is understanding what's been read, okay? And there are three levels. First off, there's the literal level. In the literal level, you are just seeing what the text says. You're summarizing, you're looking at the key details. In the second level, you are thinking inferentially. So you're making inferences, you're making connections, you're um, starting to ask some questions about the text. And then on that third level of reading, the third time you read a text, that should be where you're starting to really critically comprehend what you are reading. You're, you are going beyond, you're starting to see why um, the author wrote this, you're evaluating the author's writing and the author's argument, okay? We do this so we can become much better readers who are more aware constantly of what we are doing while we read. We have purpose, um, we have motive, and we're able to increase our reading comprehension. So again, those are the three levels of reading comprehension, the three ways of thinking.